नमस्ते सर्वे जन सुखिभवंत अंदर बहुत अंदर मन रोज मुख्यमंत्री टापिक गईड टू डू मेनी प्राजेक्ट सो मोस्ट आफ दि थर्ड इयर्स विल स्टार्ट दि मेनी प्राजेक्ट सो स्टूडेंट आर् आस्किंग मी सो मेनी क्वेश्चन हाउ टू डू मेनी प्राजेक्ट सो कीपिंग दीज थिंग इन मैं ई आम मेकिंग दिस् वीडियो so let us start with what are the different areas we can do in mini project one area is electronic applications so there are n number of electronic applications you you design one hardware circuit which will do some electronic application It can be embedded system this embedded system is a bigger area actually the combination of discrete components then programmable ic is a fine layer level actually but still many project also you can do it so it comes under hardware and software vlsi is purely simulation comes under software then image processing again purely software project simulation project only <laughs> different different techniques in image processing it can be segmentation image mapping image quality enhancement etc so different so many projects are there in image processing but purely comes under simulation <laughs> dsp based projects so dsp kits are there so based on that kit you can do project dsp projects microwave antenna it is a combination of hardware and software you can design the antenna parameters with the help of software then at the end you can manufacture a antenna product then speech processing comes under signal processing this also again purely simulation robotics is a combination of hardware and software this is a bigger project iot internet on things uh, is again a combination of hardware and uh, software so what are the different devices you can control at our home with the help of uh, internet based so it can be so many devices you can control <coughs> then arduino based again uh, hardware wireless communication projects and uh, <coughs> raspberry pi again uh, hardware python is purely software latest technology latest programming technology you can implement any idea using this python programming language so some are purely software some are purely hardware some are purely combination of software and hardware for many project first preference is given to hardware hardware contain A discrete components and IC. Second preference is uh, given to a combination of hardware and software, and third preference given to pure software. So because of many project, a discrete directly a expert examiner should able to see the physically components. So that is the first preference. <coughs> how are the batches are formed by the department a batch will contain group of 3 to 4 students and out of four uh, class topper and uh, average student and two will be below average student the group contain all all toppers cannot be in one group all dull candidates cannot be in one group so first two students will be decided by the department remaining two will be decided by other two students so some some freedom is given to department some freedom given to students there is no specific uh, perfect rules it is based on the college different techniques are followed how are the guides are allotted if, if you are interested to do a project in image processing example so there will be some faculty who are aware of image processing 
so that guide will be allotted by the department or you are already a guide is a, a faculty you faculty already having a project faculty is a, selecting the students then automatically guide will be allotted okay your area is this you are deciding your area then hod will allot the guide or you are already approaching a guide and the guide is already having a project ready to guide a project and automatically that faculty will be your guide can more than two batches allow to do same project no so there should not be any repetition title should not be same there must be some difference in the title a technique can be same but implementation can be one is developed using c language somebody developed using same technique using matlab somebody implemented using python that kind of variation is allowed it is important if you are doing hardware projects then you should know the following points see that all components are available before you start the project so once you have selected a project but to finalize it see that all components are available and you should know the cost of it every group has got some budget if you are budgeting of 5000 if actual cost is 10000 then probably you have to drop it so according to your budget you have to plan then before you solder test it on a breadboard and see that uh, it is working so first place all the components on the breadboard once it is working then also note down the voltages at different different nodes then see that uh, working condition is understood then disconnect and to go for a soldering after soldering part test the performance and fix it properly in any plastic block box so these two are important points finally you should know how it is working and explain accordingly so in the exam you have to explain how it is working <laughs> when you can do during free periods in the college or you can also do at home where you can do in any electronic hobby center or if you have a total setup at home also you can do it if you have a breadboard and soldering kit you can do solder everything at home and go to any hardware lab in the college and test it where to refer the projects you can go to library you can refer some magazines electronic for you some uh, some magazines are available exclusively they cover different different tablet and laboratory experiments and there are some books which will give list of mini projects you can also take the help of google etc so where to buy the components components are available in koti or habits sometimes in the department also available but uh, in the, even in the department it is paid who will bear the cost of the project students only should bear the cost of it so advantages of doing many project so if you do in a hardware project chance to touch the components physically how the diode is there how the transistor how the potentiometer how the relay so all the components physically you touch it and will be knowing cost of it how it looks like it will give some soldering practice also then application of electronics you will appreciate how electronics are applicable for different different applications troubleshooting troubleshooting is if diode is not working how to desolder how do you test diode is working or not how transistor is working or not how resistor is working or not short circuit condition open circuit conditions so all the troubleshooting you will be learning then group activity when x is doing something y can observe or y don't know how to do it x can explain to y 
so one will do one work other will do other work so some kind of discussion among the group members so it comes under a group activity it will be helpful in placements if you are really doing a interesting application oriented project you can mention in your profile that will be helpful for placements or it can be for higher studies also increase your confidence so these are the advantages of doing mini project thank you before i close so once again uh, i am suggesting you select maximum extent hardware components you can also go for ic level if you are interested programming level also so this is the first preference second preference is a combination of software and hardware third preference is purely software accordingly you select a project marks will be given based on your project selection how best you understood the working principle how best you are presenting presentation skill how you are preparing ppts <coughs> then how you are preparing your document how you are answering question answers so all these things together will decide your marks so thank you very much if you have any doubts you can express in comment section if you are watching this video first time please subscribe and also like it thank you very much wish you all the best